morning or evening. <laughs> joining on Zoom. There's eight of us in the Shrine Room this morning and uh, on Zoom we're joined by Paul from Liverpool. Welcome everybody. No, I need to be. So on Wednesday evening we were joined by um, a couple of women from Birmingham and one of them was a native Pure Land Buddhist uh, practitioner so we practice pure land buddhism here and um, after practice we had a cup of tea and we talked about um, how we do things and and the things that she's been taught in her school of buddhism and even though pure land buddhism is very rare in the west so it was quite extraordinary to actually meet somebody who practices it um, the way that she spoke about her practice, I didn't recognize from my own uh, relationship with practice. And that's because they were quite different and Chinese Pure Land and Japanese Pure Land has, has quite a lot of differences and, and within um, Chinese Pure Land or Japanese Pure Land, there are also lots of differences and it really brought home to me how, um, how many different ways there are of connecting with the Buddha. The Buddha taught for 40 years and taught many, many different people in many different ways, depending on what those people needed, depending on what the students were um, what, what, what they were requiring. And since that time, there have been many schisms in the Sangha, many different divergences, um, differences in opinion about what is important, what to emphasize, um, differences in opinion on what the Buddha taught. And sometimes when I think about this and I think about how many of the sutras I still have to read, even though I've read many, many um, of the original sutras and how many Buddhist books there are and how many Buddhist schools there are and that I'm not a Pali scholar and that I never will be. Um, I despair. I just think, oh, I can't be a Buddhist. How can I teach anyone anything? <laughs> because I know so little and the things that I do know that have been taught to me, how do I know that they're true or not? How do I know that they're valid or um, authentic? And then I walk around the garden with my friends and enjoy the silence and the dew and the few flowers that are still left. And I come in here and I feel the peace and remember the hours and hours and hours of practice that's happened in this room. And I relax <laughs> and I remember that Buddhism is connecting with love. Buddhism is connecting with the Buddha and the Buddha is love. And that moves me as I say it because it's just so simple and so true for me. And one of the things I love about Pure Land Buddhism, the, the, the variety that I have encountered is that it is that simple that we say the name of the Buddha and the Buddha guarantees us that we will be looked after, regardless of how foolish we are, and that we will go to the pure land when we die. So 
So what more can I say than that? Um, we'll move into some silence together. In the silence, you might want to notice your breath going in and out, or you might just want to soak up some of the love of the Buddha. And then after a while, I'll start chanting and we will chant Amitabha, which is the Buddha of infinite light, the Buddha that uh, guarantees us that we'll be okay. And wishing you peace in your silence. Namo me to be.
Oh. Uh-huh. 
We'll now recite the refuges and precepts together, which are on the bit of paper, but it's a call and response, so you don't need that until the end. Please repeat after me. For refuge, I go to the Buddha. For refuge, I go to the Buddha. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. For refuge, I go to the Dharma. 
For refuge I go to the Dharma. Namo Dharmaya. Namo Dharmaya. For refuge I go to the Sangha. For refuge I go to the Sangha. Namo Sangaya. Namo Sangaya. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not take life. I pray that I may not take life. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not steal. I pray that I may not steal. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not fall into sexual misconduct. I pray that I may not fall into sexual misconduct. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may not fall into wrong speech. I pray that I may not fall into wrong speech. With faith in the three jewels. With faith in the three jewels. I pray that I may avoid intoxication. I pray that I may avoid intoxication. No blame. No blame. Be kind. Be kind. Love everything. Love everything. Innumerable our sentient beings. We bow to save them all. Inexhaustible our deluded passions. We vow to transform them all. Immeasurable are the Dharma teachings. We vow to master them all. Infinite is the Buddha's way. We vow to fulfill it completely. In a minute, we'll stand up and do prostrations to the Buddha. So just move around the room so you've got a bit of floor in front of you and you're facing the Buddha. And if your body allows you, we'll do the whole prostration. If not, you can stay standing. And the words are Namo Amida Bu. by bowing first to each other.
and then the good one. And tidy our seats and bow to our seats. And we'll finish with the closing verse, which is on your sheet. Blessed by Amitabha's light, may we care for all living things and the holy earth. Namo Mitabu. Hope you'll join us for a cup of tea. Um, tonight from 6 till 7.15, we have an introduction to Buddhist practice, which will be suitable for beginners and medium uh, medium people of medium experience and it's eight pounds to the temple uh, let us know if you want to come because that's ticketed um, there were other things I was going to say a reminder that every Saturday um, we sit uh, in town um, with uh, kind of for the earth and we're going to start once my daily vigil is finished, we're going to start doing that every Tuesday from 12 to 1. People want to join us as well as Saturdays, which is the XR one. Um, I think that's all I can think of. Right. Now we need to be. Right. Mm -hmm. And say that to Paul. Yeah,